Hey, what's up? This is Uri, aka Sonic Logic, and I'm here with a sneak preview of the new Bluetooth feature from Sonic Logic uh, 1.2. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how to work with Bluetooth here, and then I'm going to go into the geekier details of how it works. Uh, as you can see, the demo you've just seen is running with Bluetooth, and you can see it according to this little dot, which also glows when I do MIDI stuff away. So how does Bluetooth work? Well, basically, you'll need two things to get working. You'll need uh, Sonic Logic with the Bluetooth 4 capable device, and you'll also need to run a program on your computer. Well, I'm running the thing I'm running here is a, a diagnostic uh, program with all this uh, thing. You're not going to see it, uh, at the final release, but let's see how it works. So basically, let's disconnect from the Bluetooth. You're going to need to put this program on scanning mode, and, and then. Sonic Logic is going to find it, it's going to connect. The connecting takes some time, but you only have to do this once every time you connect to your setup. So when you're setting your setup on a club or in your studio, um, you do this once before and then it's connected and you're ready to go. So it's connecting, 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 and after it's finished, I'm going to see a nice little notification saying that it's connected. Mm -hmm -hmm. And here we are. Okay. If you've stayed here until this time, very good for you. Um, basically, when Sonic Logic is connecting through Bluetooth, it needs to sync up with your setup. So when you load your setup, you're going to see this screen. As you see, the sync is very, very fast, so it shouldn't affect anything. And bam, you're ready to go. When you control it. You can see that it's controlling your DAO here at Ableton Live uh, on the fly. So let's do something interesting. Let's add a filter to this thing. Let's select the auto filter. I'm going to put it on the master. I'm going to add a pad. Here's my new pad. And let's control the frequency and the resonance. Very classic. Okay. Here we go. So, I'm opening this in Ableton Live, mapping this. As you can see, there is absolutely no difference from the way that I'm working with Sonic Logic, whether I'm using Wi Fi or whether I'm using Bluetooth. No delay at all. Let's add a more advanced feature. Let's add a button here that's going to do a time transition. A time transition transition is a transition that occurs from a certain time to from certain value to a certain value in a given time. So if I have, let's take the frequency control, it's number 23 here. I'm gonna set this button to the same thing. And I can see the on value is 107, when it's totally on, and the off value is zero, meaning it's totally off. So when I press this, I'm getting this behavior in the filter. Which is probably something that you don't want to do because it doesn't make any sense. Let's switch the values to the opposite side, so just so that I have this view. Okay, so what transition time does it allows you to select a transition time for the on value and for the off value. So now when I press this button, I get this. And Sonic Logic will handle all the transitioning from value to value automatically. Um, so how does the Bluetooth, this is basically this is the, base, the Bluetooth feature and it's going to come up in Sonic Logic version 1.2. Um, how does this work? So let's dive in into the geeky details. Now we're going to the geeky details, guys. Okay, so this is the geeky details about how the Bluetooth uh, function actually works. Well, the problem with Bluetooth is that it allows very little information to pass through. Actually, it's 20 bytes, which is much less than you... Uh, 
standard MIDI command that you have set up in a usual way and if you want to aggregate two commands together say you're controlling the XY factor on a pad you need two commands to come out and you just can't do it with the Bluetooth latency which is 35 milliseconds so what I'm doing here I'm taking this sonic logic arrangement I'm making it a compressed Bluetooth arrangement and then I'm going to chop it into little little, little bits that go through to your computer this is the syncing action that happens when you load a new setup this is reassembled on your Mac into a compressed Bluetooth arrangement and now when I have a MIDI command I change it to a Sonic Logic command ship it over to the other side which is Sonic Logic I know they seem the same size here but the Sonic Logic command is actually much more compressed and contains little data because these two can convert it into a MIDI command all together in the receiving end so when I do a time transition, I'm actually sending one command out. I'm sending do a time transition and uh, everything else is handled over there. So if you've survived so far, good for you. If you're looking for Sonic Logic, it's going to come out the uh, uh, version 1.2, going to come out really soon. Um, and if you have any other ideas, if you want something implemented, just, you know, give me an e send me an email or contact me on the Instagram uh, page or on the Facebook page, on Twitter, on whatever. Uh, I read everything and uh, most of the fi these features came from users asking them. So if you feel like something, just ask, probably get done later on. See y'all.